Hello guys, this is Linus, Lima Yankee 2 Hotel. In my other video, you might have seen already this battery. It's a 12.8 volts, 100 amp hours, lithium iron phosphate battery produced by Power Queen Company. While testing this battery in my other video, I've come to the conclusion that this battery is pretty good designed for ham radio purposes. The conclusion was that with this battery fully charged, I could run my standard 100 watts output transceiver for more than nine hours. So that's continuously run, weighing in just eight and a half kilos. This is really portable, not pedestrian mobile, but really portable battery. It could provide stable 13 to 12 volts of output during all these long hours of hard work. Then after these long hours, of course, battery falls dead, exhausted. And then the question of today's video, what do you do then? What can be used to charge your lithium iron phosphate battery? Well, it could be your wall charger or mains charger. It could be solar panels. It could be diesel generator. It could be car alternator. What else? Well, it could be hand crank generator. If hand crank generator is your favorite method to charge up your 100 amp hours battery, please leave a comment in the comment section. I want to know this and I would like to see this. So now I've got no crank generator. I've got no diesel generator. My solar panel needs some reorganization to be adapted to charge the 100 amp hours lithium iron phosphate battery but to use my car's alternator in my camper van in my radio van uh, i need to buy yet a dc to dc charger because lithium iron phosphate battery it needs you know dc to dc charger in order to prevent your alternator from getting damaged what's left for today it's a wall charger or mains charger from power queen providing 14.6 volts and 20 amps of charging current 20 amps is nice so to say light regime to charge this type of 100 amp hours battery it's so called 0.2 c regime which is one fifth of the battery capacity so and this is 100 amp hours one fifth is exactly 20 amps the user manual says that this battery could be charged you know also 0.5 c which would be 50 amps or even 100 1 c uh, charging current it would take only one hour then but if you do that you know many times charging this this uh, very rude method i would say the battery's life will be shortened up of course anyway uh, 0.2 c is a very nice uh, regime to charge this battery i think that's the good way to go okay what we have now is the battery is measuring the voltage 11.71 volts it means the battery is fully depleted accordingly to the user manual if it's between 10 to 12 volts being you know the the so-called resting voltage or uh, voltage with no load connected to the battery it means its state of charge is zero and now my goal is to connect the battery charger provided by the power queen company together with the battery and see what my power analyzer will tell us normally i would connect this stock wire with this stock under some power pole powerful one connector supply it and it connects you know just just to the charges another part of the same connector so but for the sake of measurement i did it you know some croco style that's for the measurement for the normal everyday work of course you need to use the stock supplied wires and connectors then you're gonna be you know sure nothing wrong will happen and it started all right so we see so basically 
the battery charger jumped exactly to the major stage of charging the, the so-called t2 in the uh, in the user manual or we can call it bulk uh, skipping the t1 you know uh, the t1 is is kind of way to, to wake the battery uh, up if, if, if it's got you know totally uh, dysfunctional and the, there's no after being switched by the bms shows zeros here on the on the clamps but this is, was not the, the case the battery management system switched the battery off and it still was measuring you know 11.7 volts uh, and it was not completely switched off it was not dead so the, the t1 stage providing a little amount of current and some little amount of like 12 volts of uh, voltage this stage was skipped because there was no no need for it so we see now 18.7 amps more or less continuously in this stage as we see from the diagram the current should stay more or less the same up to some point up to uh, up to this point which is should be 80 percent of charge uh, and the voltage is going to increase and then the current should start dropping quite suddenly and the voltage keep keep on the same so now we are in the constant current stage and then we're going to be in the con constant voltage stage so lithium iron um, phosphate batteries they have just just two stages basically the constant current and constant voltage there's no floating you know after charging you know nothing it just fully receives accepts the charge and it stays charged much simpler than with the lead acid batteries the red led is lighting all the time on the charger it's uh, fully working it's uh, releasing the current needed for charging it seems that the charger is working and i will reconnect the stock connector and the stock wires and we'll leave the battery to fully charge when the battery is going to be fully charged uh, this led should start glowing green it's good with Anderson power poles, various, you know, sorts of Anderson power pole. It's not possible to make a mistake, you know, you, you, you can't connect it the wrong way, you know. You only can connect it the right way. So, you see, minus and minus, minus goes to minus, plus to plus. I'm not afraid to leave this charger on. This charger, accordingly at least uh, to, to the user manual, is very well protected you know it's got over temperature protection uh, short circuit uh, protection reverse polarity protection and over voltage protection so lots of protections and it should you know run reliably this charger is loud but it's not noisy what do i mean you may ask as i speak now you hear the fans working and uh, and it's working pretty loud when i say not noisy i say what i see but not what i hear what, and i say what i see on my tiny sa screen very often different charges and power supplies they do create rfi radio frequency interference or qrms as we say well when it's loud you know just for your ear like you know the, the loud fan on your power supply or in, in on this charger if you use this charger in your shack or in your van you know where you you know can't leave it somewhere else you have to be nearby and you and you work your radio so what you just put your earphones on and you don't hear this loud this loud fan if it's noisy whatever you do you will hear this noise on your radio or i would see it on my tiny sa tiny spectrum analyzer luckily you can see nothing you know i set a range from one megahertz to seven zero seventy megahertz if i put it very very close you know just touching the the wires actually there is some spike at the frequency of uh, around 12 megahertz which is not really a ham radio uh, range but just as i move some maybe some i don't know one feet away like 30 centimeters away the spikes disappear it does not create nothing 
in the vicinity you know being being in the same premises as as the charger is no rfi no radio frequency interference this charger could be recommended for ham radio shack it's quiet it's loud but it's quiet not noisy and here it is five hours later red led turned into green led and it means the battery is fully charged the charger stopped running the fan and it's just absolutely cool after the charger has stopped charging the battery the battery has been left alone to rest connected to nothing so no load uh, and it has been left to rest for more than three hours as it is recommended in the user manual so now after this time of rest uh, we can measure the battery voltage and we see 13.4 volts and accordingly to the user manual table if you measure the voltage on the fully charged battery 13.33 or more it means the battery is 100% charged so we have here 13.4 so it means the battery has been fully charged by this fine charger. So that's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. Please leave your comments in the comment section. Please consider subscribing if you like what I'm doing. And for now, see you in my next videos. 73, this is Linus, Limoyanki 2 Hotel. Cheerio.